Be silent. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please step out of the hallway. The jurors have left the courtroom. Bring the jury back, please. Your Honor, before you do that, may I be heard on one issue? Go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you. We believe these outbursts and the inappropriate laughter are part of the mental illness that we talked about earlier. And at this point, we would ask the court to reconsider its ruling on the 1368 motion we filed, or in the alternative, let us declare a doubt, another doubt, under Penal Code Section 1368. Your motion is denied. We'll address this at a later time. Or he can hurt people. Because you have been caught, and you are going to jail. You deserve more punishment than you have received here. We do not feel that justice has been served with this or any possible sentence. The only consolation is that a dangerous person is no longer in a place where he can hurt people. Because you have been caught, and you are going to jail. Across the street, they came over. A couple fights broke out. We haven't even started this rally yet. It's going to be a long day, that's for sure. I'm shaking so bad. You fucking scared? You huh? You done this like 50 times before. You fucking scared now? I'm scared? Yeah, because your arm's fucking shaking. My arm is shaking? Yes, your left arm is shaking. What do you think's wrong with me? Am I like, am I scared of you? I think you're absolutely fucking terrified. Well, I mean, you guys are out here with guns, surrounded by a bunch of guys that have their faces covered, and shields, and bats, and guns, and he's trying to say, oh my gosh, look at this guy, he's scared. Are you not trying to intimidate me? Is that not your purpose out here? So yeah, so that is your purpose out here. So all I'm trying to do is to get to the Kate Steinle march because Kate Steinle was killed and we're trying to honor dead people and this is what I get. You guys are anti-bullies. What is this? Now you're going to try to ram me? You're going to try to ram me with your wooden sticks here? And you cover your faces. Why do you cover your faces? At least this guy has enough courage to not have his face covered. Why won't you guys uncover your face? This is with the Peaceful Streets Project. I focus so are these guys not peaceful then? So you're with the Peaceful Streets Project. That's why your face is uncovered. Why is their face is covered? So they can punch you and get away with it. So they can so they can break the law. So that's it. So yeah, of course that's the reason. Because they just admitted, they just admitted they want to beat me up and get away with it. You seem like a logical, fair-minded guy. We probably have different political beliefs, but th those people straight up hate this country, man. And if they tell you that they don't want to hurt people, they're straight up lying. They admitted me over there, they, they cover their face because they want to hurt people and get away with it. I'm pretty skeptical about whether they said that. Mm -hmm. I have it on film. I caught it on tape. You can see it. She maced me and then she ran the other way. Antifa? Was it whoa, Antifa? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I saw them mace Jim Lowe and one she just elbowed me in the tent. You got hit? You got elbow? Yep, I, got I did. You got mace too? Yes. Right they attacked both of us. She just came and started grabbing our signs. So was it a, was one of the Antifa protesters attacked you? Yes. Yes. She attacked both of us. A little Asian chick hit me. It was a woman, huh? Yeah. I believe today is a vindication for the rights of immigrants and how this swarm of of reflection and reaction on the base of what I believe to be the racial dynamics 
of this case. Nothing about Mr. Garcia Sarate's ethnicity, nothing about his immigration status, nothing about the fact that he is born in Mexico had any relevance as to what happened on July 1st, 2015. My opponent wants sanctuary cities. But where was the sanctuary for Kate Steinle? Kate was beautiful, kind, caring. The day she was killed, we were walking arm in arm on Pier 14 in San Francisco, enjoying a wonderful day. Suddenly a shot rang out. Kate fell and looked at me and said, help me, Dad. Those are the last words I will ever hear from my daughter. The alleged murderer is an undocumented immigrant who has been convicted of seven felonies in the U.S. and already deported five times. Where We feel strongly that some legislation should be discussed and acted to take these undocumented immigrant felons off our streets for good. We'd be proud to see Kate's name associated with some of this new legislation. We feel if Kate's law saves one daughter, one son, a mother, a father, Kate's death won't be in vain. I am very pleased to announce that the governor of the great state of California, Governor Jerry Brown, signed Senate Bill 54. California's local law enforcement cannot be commandeered and used by the Trump administration to tear families apart. The California Values Act will limit immigration enforcement actions. At the signing of Senate Bill 54 comes at a very critical time with the election of Donald Trump. We have witnessed a growing racial divide. The result of this constant barrage of dog whistles, or some would say foghorns or bullhorns, is a sickening rise in racism. The president's sympathy with white supremacist groups wrecking havoc in Charlotte his slow and callous response to the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, his attacks on black professional athletes protesting racial inequities, his racist, xenophobic, and unconstitutional Muslim travel ban. Anunciar que el gobernador nuestro, gobernador Jerry Brown, ha firmado el proyecto, la ley. The sanctuary cities are racist. All the jobs are going to illegals and to certain denominations. The black community has literally been, been destroyed by racist, illegal immigration, and we're not going to have it. No. When my people do a crime, we get three strikes. Your people do a crime, they get amnesty, they get benefits, and they're not paying taxes. Okay? Publication, publication 17 IRS, they're, they're allowing you people to claim people in Mexico. I can even claim people in New Orleans when there was a flood. I can claim my people. And you yeah. should. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. How dare you? Look up publication 17, page 25 and 26. How, how in the hell are you allowed to claim people in Mexico yeah. and get away with it and not pay taxes? I am outraged. I'm a tax preparer. I manage a tax store in four different states. That ITIN number, they're using it as a social security number. All the social security numbers that you don't steal, and it's going to be shut down.